Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some FTL Advanced Edition. This is uh, April the 3rd, 2014. The, the game has just been updated. This is a free update, so very excited about that. And the game has also been cross-released on iPad and other touch devices. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think it's really nice when games kind of update without having to make you pay for them. It's pretty cool. Lots of new content. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have Advanced Edition content enabled. There's a new hard mode available. Let's play a normal for this playthrough just to make sure that we don't die a miserable, terrible death. There are new ship layouts, A, B, and now C. There's also a whole bunch of changes to the interface, so it's going to be interesting trying to play through this um, after having the change. There's also a new ship, and this whole thing, as you can see, looks different. And so it used to be that you could only unlock a ship by doing certain quest chains or getting certain achievements. Now, there's a couple different ways to do it. You can either do those same things, like here it'll say, Federation Cruiser Quest. You can unlock this ship by doing the quest, or you can unlock it by unlocking the previous ship. And so, um, you know, there's just Federation Cruiser Victory. Defeat the flagship with any layout of the Federation Cruiser. If you do that, then you'll get this ship unlocked. So it's kind of cool how that's changed. Um, of course, we're probably going to have to play with the Lanius Cruiser, since it's the new one. The sharp knife-like structures make Lanius ships a sight to behold. The cruiser was adapted to support the other races of the Federation. Um, of course, I have all the ships unlocked because I've been playing this game for far too much time. But um, let's do this. So we're going to do the Lanius cruiser. Um, it's called the Cruos. We start off with a human. And we have two of these fellows here, the Lanius race. These anaerobic beings seem friendly enough. They apparently drain oxygen from rooms. It slows movement, but no damage from lack of oxygen. Interesting. So... That'll be different. We get a chain burst laser. This dual shot laser decreases in cooldown the more it fires. After three volleys, it only takes seven seconds, down from 16. And we also have an ion stunner. So it's a regular, like an ion shot, but it also stuns uh, people, crew inside of the room for five seconds. And our augmentation is the emergency respirators. Crew take half damage from low oxygen. So these guys, I guess they don't actually... This is weird. I've never... Never encountered a race like this. Let's try it. All right, so yes, the data we carry is vital, indeed. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can remember our crews. This is apparently the uh, the new thing. Save your positions. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Save your current crew positions. Hotkey, dash, stations saved. Return crew to saved positions. Hot hotkey return. Enter, okay. So that is really nice. Wow, that saves so much time. That is probably the best change to the game. Now we have some new structures. We have a hacking module, apparently. Hacking lock down a system while periodically disrupting the system and stunning crew. Level one is a four second disruption. It's fully powered, add power L, okay? Got our two weapons. Um, enables view of rooms and info for enemy ships. Unmanned. Apparently there's a, an advantage now to having a man in the sensors room. Let's go check that out and see what that does. Go in there, please. So we have a man there, and apparently that makes it equivalent to level 2 by having someone man it. Status partially functional. See enemy interior. Okay. Doors. Allows for remote opening and closing of doors. Re level 1 normal doors. I'm assuming it's the same thing. If we put a man in there, we can actually upgrade it to level 2. Okay. Um, what if we were to upgrade it to level say two could we then take it to three and what happens if it's level three super blast door okay we can we can see the answer right over there super blast doors if you get somebody in there cool see enemy power use so you have to have level three and have a person manning it to get the power usage just seeing the interior is usually enough in my opinion allows the ship to make ftl jumps needs pilot to function auto 50 percent evasion this seems like it's been changed. Um, looks to me like, I mean, in, in the past, it was just worthless to put any points into. Now, if you have level 2, or level 3, sorry, then 80% normal evasion, I guess. Cool. This doesn't look any different. This doesn't look any different. We have a clone bay. Automatically clones dead crew with skill penalty. Taking advantage of micro-cloning, crew heals partially every jump. Jump heal is passive and requires no power. So at level 1 clone bay, it's a 12 second clone and we gain 8 life per jump. So I can kind of see the idea, you just like send them over and 
you know, if they die, then then whatever, we get new ones. And that's going to be really useful with the the positions thing. We should totally get a, a, a teleporting pad. Well, if I'm not if I'm not like totally misunderstanding this, wouldn't it make sense to just have nothing but these types of crew and then not have to worry about um, oxygen? Anaerobic beings. No damage from lack of oxygen. They don't, you know, they, they don't need any oxygen at all. So if you had a bunch of these in a room, I assume they'd drain the oxygen from the enemy's ship very quickly. Well, let's see. So F1, um, we're going to have, obviously, somebody needs to be piloted. We'll have somebody man the engines and man the uh, that thing. Let's go ahead and save position. And then I just, I want to try this. I'm excited about this. Let's just move them around. Go press enter. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> that is the coolest thing in the game. All right, let's jump. Okay, where are we going? We're going here. We need to probably... Your jump leads to a remarkable binary star system. The view is beautiful, but there's nothing else around. Okay, next jump. Ooh, look at this fancy. It's so fancy. It's got, like, the little green things around it. All right, well, let's keep going. This ship looks really cool, by the way. We're playing on normal mode. It appears that an automated Rebel Scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. Continue. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay, well, let's definitely power up the chain thing. Um, the ion stunner we can use probably to just take out the uh, cockpit, and then it won't be able to evade or power up. So we'll go ahead and, I guess, yeah, I mean, we could probably turn the oxygen off. Logically, like, we could just never have the oxygen on, and if the human dies, we'll just keep re be, be reborn in the clone bay. You know, like, why, why power the oxygen? All right, so that can shoot there. Let's make sure we have auto fire on. But here's the thing. I did read about this. You have to make sure to keep the clone bay powered because real deaths can happen if somebody is dead and the clone bay is not um, operational. So you got to make sure that that thing's safe. Now, interesting. So this fires chain power, faster charge, shots per charge, two. I thought I just saw it shoot once. Oh, that was the Iron Stunner. That's why. Oh, no. They took down our oxygen room. Now yeah, we can go fix that. Oh, hey, that's cool. It shows you which room, which uh, which space he's gonna end up in. That's kind of cool. I like it a lot. Good old fashioned FTL advanced. So why are we repairing the oxygen? I don't know. For reasons. Oh hey, cool! Look at that. There's more flashy icons. What? He actually got away. Fleet pursuit doubled for one jump. That's. A, I like the way that this has changed. And yet we still fired, for some reason. Well, that's really unfortunate that, um, that that happened. I wonder, can I use the enter on the right, on the keypad, or do I have to use... Hey. Cool, and there's a, a bar now that shows when the shields are coming back. Nice. I like changes. I like upgrades. Everything about this seems better. Aid the civilian ship. Sure, why not? Let's shoot the ion stunner at the, uh, whatever. Just shoot at the... Just shoot him. So the chain laser is probably not going to actually get to its charged state very often. The ship is certainly running low on oxygen. We could power it. Ouch. Okay, we can see theirs too. Okay, the ion thing doing its job. Do, 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 do. Just kind of hanging out, waiting. This guy's certainly, he's, he's dying now, lack of oxygen. That's fine. Don't worry about him. Now we've got our seven second charge. So the real, real shots are about to happen. I want a boarding thing. I want to let him die just because I want to see what happens. Bye bye Nikos. And so there's this new system here to show us how we've gained stuff. We've gained three, looks like three fuel, two missiles, 16 scrap. Welcome aboard, Ariel. This is so much more clear about what's happening. Absolutely, we'll take another human. Ariel, we accept your addition. And he's just dead. He died. Nekos is dying. There's an actual tooltip that tells us that he's dying. Um, but we have the clone bay powered. <clears throat> what is this saying? The hacking terminal? You know, we probably don't need to power that. How do we, how do we use it? Oh, I need to click the button. I should have clicked the button earlier since we have it powered. Let's see, what would be a good thing to also power? Probably the... Okay, so this is telling us that he's coming back. Nice. 
I guess we have to power on the oxygen. Come on back, Nikos. Don't die on us, man. Where does he show up? In the med bay? In the clone bay? Okay. Go back to where you belong, my friend. Ariel doesn't have an actual job, so we'll save current positions now that she's there. Then we cannot heal them. It's not possible. We don't have a med bay. We have a clone bay. So she's stuck at 58 life. And that's okay. Pay their toll? I, I think not. Let's go ahead and uh, turn the oxygen back off. Get that thing going. And let's, uh, can we, it looks like we can immediately use this. It does cost a drone part. Um, what can we target? Grants disruption ability. Temporarily drain the enemy ship of oxygen. Grants disruption ability. Temporarily reduce the enemy's evasion. Take control of the enemy teleporters returning crew to the ship. Temporarily drain charge from enemy weapons. Yeah, none of those things really seem that appealing to me. Ooh, that mantis looks different. He's not green. Well, do you want to, should we go fight him? Let's go fight him. There's not going to be any oxygen in this room. You're going to die, mantis man. How much life do these guys have? A hundred? Wow, they seem pretty solid at combat. Let's go back to where they belong. I love that so much. Being able to just press the button. That was really nice. Got a hole in the shield. These guys are actually probably quite good at repairing holes in the shield. Ariel's about to die, lack of oxygen. Let's uh, let's go ahead and power the oxygen, I guess. Actually, we should probably just let Ariel die so she comes back with full life. Yeah, why don't you go die? Go die for us, please. Just go, go away. Bye-bye. <laughs> you haven't lived until you've died at least once. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so we have the oxygen on, so she shouldn't lose any more life. Is that new music? I think I hear new music. FTL's delayed. Let's make sure we take down the cockpit so they can't actually run away. And, um, yeah, let's let you go die too. So you can't heal yourself, but you can let them die. They lose some skills. I don't know how much skill they, lo they actually lose, but I'd rather that he die and have more... More life for the next jump. Go ahead, go away. Get out of here, man. I like the new music. Sounds slick. Nice job, man. How do they drain the oxygen from the room? Like, what are they doing? Okay, return to stations, my peoples. And we're off. We have a store with 40 scrap. There's not really much we can actually do with that, so I think we'll just continue on. I guess that little clock icon probably indicates whether it's charged or not. Five damage to our hull. That stinks. Must have a fire. Who cares? I assume that they can still suffer fire damage. Okay, I've already forgotten. What are the... There we go. Z and X. Shortcut keys. Listen to that music. It's so good. Can you believe that this is a free D? It's like a, it's a free patch. They just made it just better. It's just a better game now. We'll go ahead and just keep jumping around a bit. And we have an offensive beamer shooter drone type guy. Hmm. I suppose I should probably use the hacking thing. N. Let's, um, disable this. Well, it will reduce their evasion. It doesn't actually prevent them from jumping. Freeze enemy drones with a chance of destroying them. I think we wait until this thing's ready to fire, and then we go ahead and do it now. You're about to die, lack of oxygen. Actually, get, get, get out of there. So this thing actually is going to land. Bam. So what's it doing? Oh, that stinks. Oh, no, it did do it. Did you stop shooting at me? How long does it last? Enemy FTL is now delayed. Your drone is causing problems for us. 
So if, as long as I keep it powered, is it really how long it lasts? It says temporarily. Locking a system room while periodically disrupting the system and stunning crew. Four second disruption, fully powered. Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it now. It's not actually currently actively doing it, but when it periodically ticks, it's going to do the four second disruption. So as long as we keep it powered, it'll stay active, and we're not having, having to like reuse a drone every time. Okay, well, people are probably going to die. Ariel's going to die. Manning the this room doesn't seem to do anything. Let's let Ariel die. I mean, the med bay's powered. Enemy FTL is delayed. We should probably take this thing out. Somebody died. Ariel's dead. We need oxygen, man. I can't really afford to unpower anything, though. As long as we take down their weapon bay, I think we'll be okay. That thing probably can't shoot through one level of shields. Who's dying now? You also can't have two people dead at the same time, I think. What's that flashing mean? Just that you're low on life? Fair enough. We need to turn the oxygen on. Okay, screw the engines. We'll get rid of our evasion, it's fine. This guy's turn to die. We succeeded. Did not gain very much. That was brutal, man. They're dying a lot. I'm assuming that their skill levels are not very great. Return to stations. Excellent. Okay. Well, I am actually going to take a break here. Um, and I will see you in the next video. We're going to continue playing through with this ship and hopefully actually beat the, the Rebel flagship. I don't know. There's a lot of new changes, a lot of new weapons. We'll see how far we get. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, if you do like the video, like the video. It helps out quite a bit, and it helps out with YouTube search results. So thank you once again for watching, and I will see you again soon.